Hello, and welcome to this episode about appreciative inquiry for leaders. I'd like to talk about the concept of appreciative inquiry and how it requires a shift in focus. So often, leaders and managers tend to get very focused on all the things that are going wrong, all the things that have gone wrong, finding out what happened, where was the faults, all the stuff that didn't work out as planned. An appreciative inquiry requires a shift in focus from that towards a strength-based focus and a reward mindset so that we're actually helping our brain to move away from a threat response to a reward response about looking at what we want and that helps all our brains, everyone involved in the conversation, to be more able to make better connections, have a bigger field of view and big, see the bigger picture more clearly and actually create energy and motivation through dopamine because we're appreciating that we're going to get a potential reward. So with all of that helping our brains to focus more positively, you go into the 4D cycle. And the 4D cycle is all about, the first one is discover, where we look at strengths and look at best practice. What's gone well? What strengths have people demonstrated? What best practice has been demonstrated? And how can we build on that in order to get the result that we want? And then we move into the dream phase, and that's to visualize the best possible future. So we're looking at what's the ideal that we really want and how can we use our strengths and even more of the best practice to get that result. Then we move into the design phase where we co-create to achieve. And this is where we brainstorm ideas to help improve the situation, to help get better results, to maybe look at changes that need to be made in order to focus on and get that ideal to achieve that dream. And then finally, it's about destiny. What do we need to do so that we can practically implement the ideas that we've been talking about, that we can sustain them over time? And that may require a change in structure or a change in process in order to be able to facilitate the activities, the learning, the growth that needs to happen in order to get the result that you want in a sustainable manner, ongoing, over time. So I'm going to invite you to consider a shift in focus when it comes to project review or looking how to improve performance by using appreciative inquiry. And it's all about the focusing on the strengths that are being demonstrated, the potential to achieve better results, and above all, collaboration by working together. So when it comes to improving performance, stay curious.